Hello, this is Emmanuel. Someone asked me to uh, do a nested ANOVA. Okay, so today we're going to talk about nested ANOVA. So, simply, a nested ANOVA is a type of ANOVA in which um, one factor is a subset or is embedded in another uh, factor. Alright, so the example we are going to be using today to do that is let's say we want to find out if there is a significant difference between the scores obtained by students in mathematics for the purpose of this uh, lesson we are going to use JSS1 and this JSS1 is divided into JSS1A, JSS1B and JSS1C so we want to see if there is a significant difference between the scores obtained by students from these individual classes in doing that, we would also subdivide these respective classes into three levels. So for JSS 1A, we are going to divide it, subdivide it into three levels. If we have one of the level, the high performance students, the second level, the middle, medium performance student, and the third level, the um, low performance student. So we are going to do it for JSS 1, do the same thing for JSS 2, and JSS 1A, do the same thing for JSS 1B, and do the other one for JSS 1C. And we are going to pick each student per level from each individual classes, making it a total number of 12 students per class. Okay, so here is the information. So we have already coded uh, some of this here. So the classes have been coded. Uh, for, um, in this format, 1 for JSS 1A, 2 for JSS 1B, and 3 for JSS 1C. So for the levels, we have 1 for high performing, 2 for medium performing, and 3 for low performing. And we have our scores. So here are the information that we need for the analysis. So quickly, to perform a nested ANOVA, we go to Analyze. Go to General Linear Model Univariate. All right, so the scores are our dependent variable. The classes are the fixed factors. Okay, so then the level for the level, the level will becomes our random factor. Okay, so now, so we just um, check the various information we need. Okay, homogeneity of homogeneity tests. All right, so I think that'll be all. All right, so now for us to do a nested ANOVA, we go to paste. So here, what we do here is simply we open a bracket here. We put this in a bracket. All right, so. Now, what we did here is to see if the, there is a difference between the levels of A, JSS 1A, uh, and the levels of JSS, 1, JSS 1B and the levels of JSS 1C. We are trying to see if there are differences in those levels for those individual classes. Whether the high, for, uh, whether the high performing students for JSS 1A is different from that of JSS 1B or significantly different from that of JSS 1C and the uh, medium performing student likewise so, okay so when we're done with this we hit on run all right so this is the information that we are provided with so the number of students that we picked from JSS 1A to 12 12 for JSS 1B 12 for JSS 1C 12 so the high performing students the total students are 12 for low medium performing total students are 12 and low uh, performing total students are also 12 so uh, so this is the descriptive statistics from the descriptive statistics we would see that the um, high performing students the mean of the high performing students are more in JSS 1b compared to JSS 1a and JSS 1c we would also see that the Low performing students are more in JSS 1B compared to the other three classes. So the descriptive statistics help us to see the differences amongst the three 
levels in each individual classes and we can also take our judgment from here to see if there is uh, a difference between these various classes let's go to Leventis tests okay so from here we see that uh, our assumptions are still intact okay so now let's go to uh, test of between subject effects this is what uh, we are looking for okay so from here we would see that uh, the p-value here is greater than 0 0.05 so we re we accept the null hypothesis we say that there is no significant difference between the scores obtained by students in the various classes okay but for the levels as per the levels uh, you see that there is a significant uh, difference so this is telling us that the the high performing students in either a or b or c there is a significant difference between them also the medium performing student there is a significant difference among them in the three classes also then lastly the low performing student is also telling us that there is a significant difference between the low performing uh, students in jss 1e and jss 1b and also jss 1c as the case may be so uh, that is that for that any um question kindly drop it to the comment section i would do well to attend that to it thank you